Welcome to an introduction to electricity. What is electricity? Well, I'm glad you asked. To understand electricity, we should have a basic understanding of an atom. So I'm just going to draw an atom here with some neutrons in yellow and some protons in red. And orbiting the nucleus, which is that green bit, everything inside the green bit, are some little electrons. Now, electricity is the desire for these electrons to hop from one atom to another. So let's say I had a battery. The knobby ends this positive terminal and the flat ends the negative terminal. And let's say I put a wire between those two things. What's going to happen? Well, you, you probably know if you've done this as a kid that the battery's going to get really hot, but what's actually happening to the electrons? Well, they're flowing out the negative terminal, they're hopping from atom to each atom to atom in the wire incredibly fast because, well, you've just short-circuited it, so there's very little resistance. But all the electrons are basically wanting to move from this negative terminal and discharge themselves by travelling quickly into the positive terminal. If I make a what would probably seem like an obscure analogy for a second. Let's say I have a scenario where I have two knights, one's on top of a cliff. All right, so I have this red knight standing on top of a cliff and he wants to jump down and attack this black knight. Now, the relationship between electric potential energy and gravitational potentially potential energy is very similar in the sense that the gravitational potential energy is wanting to pull this red guy down to ground level, which we'll call this this one right here. And um, in a circuit, this can be analogized by the pla the places of high potential wanting to flow to the places of lower potential. So again, we'll call this my battery. We say the current flows from the positive terminal to the negative terminal, even though what's really happening is the electrons are moving the other way. It's been adopted as a convention to say that the red end or the positive end or the place of higher potential will have a higher voltage than this place of zero potential. So if I were to make another analogy quickly with a water tank, Let's say you have a water tank here, it's wanting to flow down, and we have two pipes connected to it. We have a lot of um, pressure at this point here, but then the pressure gets split up into two, two phases. Or, or rather, the, the pressure is the same actually between this point and this point, or this point and this point. However, the, the current gets split up because you have all this pressure coming in here and it's being released through these two streams it's being split into two basically would make the analogy that voltage voltage if I can spell voltage is the pressure and current is the flow rate now in a circuit we represent voltage as V we represent the current as I, and we represent the resistance as R. What is the resistance in this case, you might ask? Well, it's the size of the um, size of the pipe, because if we just broke this open and all the water came gushing out instantly, there'd be no resistance from this point of gravitational potential to Earth. It's, it's the exact same with a circuit. If we shorted the circuit from here to Earth, all the current's going to pretty much rush through instantaneously and discharge this battery really, really quickly. I'm calling the tank a battery, because that's essentially what it is if in the analogy. Hopefully this sort of gives you a basic understanding of what's going on in the circuits. Thanks for watching, and see you later.